Alright, y'all, I just came back from the unboxing video. I'm doing this now. Um, this review is Tough Guy Peach. And just right away, I can, I can smell it. It, it, it smells like, it smells really freaking good. Anything good on this bitch? No, I'm just saying it's class, what is, what is with this class M, class C thing on the side of the can? I don't get that. It says class C or tax sale C or tax class C or something. But if you, if you got your dip, grab your dip. If you got your chew, grab your chew. If you don't dip, thumbs up to you. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And I will be telling you what my jug I'm using today. Let's go ahead and uncrack it and get a pinch. Crack this son of a bitch and get us a pinch. If I can get, even get the freaking seal open. Okay, I have 88... Well, no. I have that sleeping disorder that people get when they don't sleep. Yeah, I got that bitch. I haven't slept since 8 a.m. yesterday. God, son of a gun, how do you freak? Alright, y'all gonna say I'm stupid and a, a dumbass for doing this, but... I should be able to get my finger in the crease now. I don't have long nails, so it makes it difficult as a bitch. Alright. And, um, by the way, this is a fat cut. Um, I don't know if it says on the back side of Outlaws can. I'm pretty sure it doesn't because it's Outlaws and Outlaw don't really care. The only thing he doesn't want on the can is the warning label. But anyway, so I've got Peach. Let's crack it open and get us a sniff. If it'll freaking open. I probably didn't crack it all the way through. Knowing me, I didn't. Normally, I don't have a freaking problem with this, but right now, I'm having a... A pretty big problem. Let me try to get it right here. Okay, try it from this side then. I don't get it. What the hell, man? Come on. I'm dying for a dip. Seems like it's not uncracking on this side. I'll poke my finger. Is that bad or good? I don't know. I think that's good. I don't know. Kind of. I don't know. Well, heck with it. Let me pack it. You did not see that. No one saw that. Let's get us a damn pinch. If I can get the can back open again. If I'm really gonna have trouble with this, I'm gonna be mad. And this is fat cut, so watch this. See, comes out like freaking stokers. For some odd reason, my finger is hurting now. I don't get it, but anyway. Alright, so, for the can, I give it an 8 out of 10. Uh, I get to decide 8.5 eight out of 10 at least. Um, please don't make my tongue go numb. Cause that was the what the vanilla did, I think, for uh, RT uh, Redneck TV. So um, I know the past, probably the past, a lot of videos that I've done. I never had a fucking mud jug. Well, I got a mud jug now. That sucks. I hate that when it splatters all over the place. I hate that. I like, I like having the spit come out like. 
easy as hell. Right. Hey, it is what it is. I don't care. Kind of, kind of reminds me of like a a mixture between a Georgia peach and a freaking um, what is this thing called? The auto, the ones that comes in the can. Kind of has that taste. I mean, it's not a bad taste. Not bad. I'm not gonna lie. Not too bad. All right, I would rec. I don't recommend you buying a roll. I would recommend you buying a can. Do try it. Then, if you like it, buy a roll. Cause see, when I got these two, the Lucky Badass Bourbon and Lucky Lipper, I cause see I already tried watermelon. I tried watermelon over a year ago, right? Right up like. Maybe four or five, like maybe four or five months after it came out. So, I've never tried them. So I'm gonna try them, see how they taste, and I may get more. I just, I love the way I spit in a mud jug in a in a bottle. I hate that. That's the only reason why I got the roadies when I'm in the car with my mom, my sister, um, my girlfriend, Tommy. Anybody, I can use the roadie. And I spit black like stokers, so I mean, that ain't that bad. Uh, I plan on trying to re-review Stoker's Wintergreen at some point. Not too sure if I'm going to or not. I have to make that decision for myself. Because this is like my channel. Um, another thing. I'm going to make another channel. I'll update y'all on that part. But the other the My second channel will be a video game channel. I'm not going to always upload on this, vi on this channel for video games. Like I may do one of GTA. Madden. Call of Duty. Uh, Destiny 2. That's it. I'm not going to do a bunch of just GTA videos all together. No. God damn. You spit like a fucking train. Then again, I'm talking too much. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, uh, yeah. I got my mud jugs. I got my dip. I have dip for now until I can get some wintergreen. Hopefully, I can get some wintergreen sometime in the next three or four days. Hopefully, but I don't know. And it came on time too, so I mean, I like I literally was getting up to go check and see if it was here. And right when I looked, the the mail person walked. It was not walking up, but driving in the driveway. Like she was in my neighbor's, my next door neighbor's driveway. She pulled into mine, and the first thing she did after she got it all, she was like, "How was your day?" And I was like, "Good." Wish I had these beforehand in the dip. I'm sorry, but I, I don't know. I, it, it's not the flavor that bothers me. It's just the way the cut is because it kind of reminds me of Red Man. So, but I can't complain because my girlfriend got it for me as a late anniversary present slash late birthday present slash I love you present. I don't know. Because, like, literally, um, she literally put on the package my hubby. I was like, what the fuck? Because I got the email saying that. And I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, hold up. And so I looked, and I saw this, and I saw the roadie, and I was like, she probably, she probably accidentally said it. Or did it by accident. Or she was trying to surprise me, I don't know. But I really like this. This is fucking sexy as fuck. 
I love this mud jug now. This is, this is my, you kind of hear it, but this is the thing about mud jugs. They don't spill. So say like, I'm spinning in this. Me and my girlfriend are at a hotel and I'm spinning this. She goes to knock it over, not gonna spill. I mean, there's nothing in it anyway, so I can't test it, but I can prove to you it's not gonna fucking like. It's made in America. It's hard as a rock. It's like, it's like a, like, I guess you can set her uh, like a really, really dirty, dirt, that dirt, that can't even talk. Like really good plastic, so it's not gonna break, and the funnel's plastic too. So if anything, if it breaks, it would be the funnel. So, and I had a bad experience with this one, this type of mud jug. And I'll tell you that in another video, story video. But anyway, I, it's really, it's okay, but I would not recommend you buying a roll. Buy a can, try it. If you like it, buy a roll. If you don't like it, and, and I mean, if you, if you want it every once in a while, it's, it's okay. I'm just saying that now, but don't buy a roll right away. Just buy a can. Just try it. See if you like it. Then work. Then work on getting a roll. Um, I'm probably not buying peach again. I mean, I would probably buy peach when I'm in the mood for it, but I would never buy it again. It's freaking $4.99 for that, $5.99 for the fucking outlaw dip, so. And I'm spitting black like a motherfucker. So that ain't bad. Proper way to put take your dip out is pop the top, dump it in there, put the funnel back on, make sure it snaps, and then you're good to go. Um, so yeah, um, I just wanted to do this quick peach review, get it out of the way. Uh, I'm going to do the uploading of the unboxing video first. Then I'm going to do the, the peach review. And I will say in the video that is, that is a back-to-back -back videos. I don't normally do back-to-back -back videos unless I come up with a great idea. Sometimes I can do three videos all at the same time. But I am tired as a... I'm tired. But, like I said, if you're going to buy it, buy a roll. See if you like it, then buy, I mean, buy a can, then buy a roll. Because if you don't like it, don't buy it. But I would recommend you try it first, see if you like it. If you don't like it, then don't buy it. Buy something else off the Tough Guys website. I would recommend you get the Lucky Leper, the Wild Watermelon, or the Badass Bourbon. And let me see if I can sniff. <laughs> It kind of has like like that artificial Mountain Dew f t t smell, but I don't know about the taste because I haven't had it yet. Because like I said, it's uncracked. I mean, it's not cracked, but it is Lucky Lipper. I got the Lucky Lipper, and I want to give a big old shout out to my girlfriend. Thank you again. I appreciate this. I really do. I really appreciate this. Now you don't have to see me spitting in bottles all the damn time. I don't know why I get up close with it. But anyway, I'm out of here. Uh, thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the love. Thank you for all the likes. Please comment below this video or the unboxing video, which one I should do first, the Badass Bourbon or the Lucky Leper? Let me know in the comments below which one you want to see first and give me a thumbs up. Give me a big old like. I would love likes. Smash the like button. If you like my video, if you don't like my video, then just get out of here. I don't care. See y'all later.